Yo, Elliot, I humbly come to you to ask for advice on a life decision I'm currently debating on. Basically, I'm considering whether I should live my life celibate. I'm debating this because I have no interest in starting a family. I currently have no good reason for wanting to raise children and making the necessary sacrifices for them because I don't want to take the responsibility of fatherhood. I question whether I should ever engage in sexual intercourse. I've also come to realize that when it comes to women in relationships, I mostly just want to satiate my lustful desires. With that said, do you think it's morally responsible that I live an abstinent life? P.S. I'm 26 years old and have never slept with a woman nor been in a relationship with one. Oh, so you don't even know what you're missing. <laughs> also, even though many women use birth control, I personally do not trust its effectiveness. And now I'm concerned how it affects women's mating strategy. Oh, yep. Thanks. I hope you and your family have a Merry Christmas. So David, my first reaction, my, fir my first instinct was to say, yes, it's a good idea. It is a good idea. I think it's a good idea. One that only the past 60 years has started to sound weird. There was a time when there was a term that was called a confirmed bachelor. There were men that were literally confirmed as it. They don't want to deal with women. Guys like, like Nikola Tesla <laughs> was a MGTOW for life. And that's why he was such a genius. There were, it wasn't thought so strange, but you know, the diabolically disoriented world has come has become this way mainly because men have grown weak. And part of the reason why men have grown weak is because sex has become so plentiful. And when sex is plentiful, men are distracted. So it's a part of the breakdown of our, our society, which has made sex so plentiful, so free, so fun. And, it, and they even lie to us into making us believe that it makes you manly to have lots of sex. There's nothing manly about being promiscuous. It just means that you, just like the person that's addicted to drugs and he can't go a day without getting a hook, the guys that are promiscuous, they live the same way. It's effeminate, right? So my first instinct is, yes, cultivate your sexual energy and give your creativity to the world. Build something powerful. Do something great. You'll have your, you'll retain your vitality as long as you're not spilling it out while watching porn and, and masturbating, like retain your vitality. There's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of value to that. And the science is coming out more and more to, sh to show that. As much as I love being married and I believe in the value of marriage and the family, I love families, I would like to see more families. I would rather see men be monks than to get themselves caught up in the degenerate culture or in a relationship with a demonic dame, which huh, I say it's hard not to find one, right? Most of them, from just from reading your stories and hearing from men, it's tough, it's tough out there. And the women, it's not even that they understand what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. They've been tricked by feminism. So that was my first instinct. But then you said that you were 26, you haven't slept with a woman, you haven't been in a relationship. So I had to hesitate for a moment in my mind and I said to myself, okay, then why are you doing this? I would, I, I support your decision. I support your decision. And you don't have to answer me. You don't have to answer me, but I just want you to be with this question a little bit longer for yourself. Why, what are the roots of this because i do notice like you're being 26 years old you're 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 not at your peak in your sexual market value right now and women are not easy to deal with and a part of what we're experiencing with the low testosterone in men is men just don't know how to deal with women women are harder than ever and men are weaker than ever and if you're just checking out because because you can't figure women out or, or they're just too challenging um especially when you haven't reached your sexual market peak yet and, and, and it's because you're, you know, in a way, a lot of these guys are just afraid of women. So they become MIG, MGTOW instead of, you know, actually learning how to deal with women. Um, that could be a problem. 
so every action is measured by the sentiment from which it proceeds. I wonder what the sentiment from which it proceeds comes. So I'm just hoping that you're not turning away from women because you're a little, you're a little afraid, you know, you're afraid of them or you just haven't figured them out or you got too many like uh, hangups. If you come to understand women, if you come to appreciate them for what they are, have no hangups, no bad feelings towards them, wish them the best and go on your way, that's a little different, that's a little different too. If you are a high value man, you're a good looking man, tall man, handsome man, man with money, and you choose to turn women away, more power to you, because now women are gonna be flocking to you. If you are a Chad or a Tyrone, <laughs> which is the terms that the red pill guys use for, uh, you know, alpha guys, you know, the guys that women like, they just they head over heels for. And you turn away from women, I understand. But if you're an incel, am I using that term derogatively? When I say incel, I literally mean you're, you're in, you're in, in, uh, uh, involuntarily celibate. You're involuntarily meaning like, you know, I would really like, like if women were throwing pussy at me, well, I would forget this incel, uh, forget the celibacy thing altogether. But if you're involuntarily celibate, I would say just explore your intentions a little bit deeper, right? Don't scorn women just yet. That's all. And if you're gonna consider a celibate life, why not go live in a monastery? <laughs> That's my opinion. I'm a weirdo, I'm an extremist. But like, yeah, why not just straight up go full monk? Like live, like that would, and, and so you would be held to the flame because you make a vow of celibacy. This is what men that go into the monasteries do. They make a vow of celibacy and they keep themselves pure for the Lord. Now you're doing it for a good reason. You're doing it for God. I will not defile myself with my base instinct, my base needs. I will subjugate my animal nature to divine union, right? Like you're doing it for God. So, but then again, what I'm talking about is intention. What is your intention? What is your intention? Be with that. And I hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation coaching students, where among many things, we get together about four or five hours a week where we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. And if you want to join a like-minded group of men that get together every day to grow stronger in every way during this degenerate age, it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and then me or one of my teammates will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us. I really hope to see you perhaps at our next live call. Done.